next on UPN. This is a UPN special presentation. The home video you are about to see documents an alleged case of alien abduction. A family from Lake County, Minnesota was reported missing by relatives on Thanksgiving weekend. A search of their remote farm produced some disturbing evidence and a six-hour home videotape, including this chilling on-camera testimonial by 16-year-old Tommy McPherson. Uh, my name is Thomas McPherson. Uh, we were attacked by aliens. I think they killed my brothers, uh, Kurt and Brian McPherson. What? I don't want to die. I'm really afraid. I don't think we're going to make it. You are about to see excerpts from Tommy's video. Is his tape the most powerful evidence yet that aliens exist? Or is there some other explanation for the disappearance of the McPhersons? Since the original broadcast, an astonishing discovery. Static areas of the McPherson tape actually contain some amazing video. Now, with the help of digital enhancement using declassified military technology, we are able to show you what you couldn't see before. Is this digitally reconstructed video proof of an alien encounter? You be the judge as we try to make sense out of the videotape recovered from the family's abandoned home. I'm not comfortable with the statement confirming or denying the possibility that the McPhersons were abducted by extraterrestrials. My deputy found the tape at the McPherson place and the McPhersons haven't been heard from since. Beyond that, I have no comment. Look, it's been 50 years since the Roswell crash, and there's never been a single piece of usable news footage. Now, all of a sudden, there's a home video showing an entire family being systematically abducted. What's happening? Let me see. Hey, man, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I don't speak publicly on this subject anymore, but I can't resist this one. Maybe this tape evidence was left behind for a reason, because most serious scientists will turn up their nose at anything connected with a UFO. So the incident will be dismissed instead of uh, uh, investigated. If somebody said, we have a tape of a family abducted, I'd say, well, let me see it. <laughs> we need to get the hell out of here. It's a very frightening experience for these people. Grab your coat. We're leaving now. I still don't know what happened to the McPhersons, but the tape is real. Some Earthlings have indeed been abducted by aliens. We're dealing with the biggest story of the millennium. This is the planet Earth by alien spacecraft. I told you! I told you I saw one! I don't think we're gonna make it. Missing, Tommy McPherson, age 16. Rosalind McPherson, age 53. Kurt McPherson, age 28. Linda McPherson, age 25. Matthew Wilson, age 30. Melanie McPherson, age 26. Brian McPherson, age 21. Renee Laurent, age 20. Rosie McPherson, age 5. Alien abduction incident in Lake County. This program contains shocking and often disturbing images. Viewer discretion advised. Tommy McPherson's tape begins at 6.20 p.m., November 27, 1997. Okay, I got it working now. Yeah, right, you've been saying that for the last half hour. Oh, red light's on this time. I'm making a video of our Thanksgiving dinner. That's another video for one night, don't you think? Oh, this is my career, Mom. What career? Music video director. Yeah, right, you can't even hold that thing steady. Yeah, it's supposed to look <laughs> like this. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh. What was Hi. that? What the hell? Ah, great. <laughs> Power's out. Hmm. Not lightning? All right. I don't hear any thunder, man. Rose, are you okay, honey? Um, hey, let's go oh. check the fuse box. <laughs> ah, careful. Ah. <laughs> Here. This is how you handle a fuse box, college boy. Whoa. Mm. Look at that. Hey, give me some room. Let me see it. Yeah. Huh. It stinks, man. 
We could have done that. Lightning. Did that? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's... Whoa. What the hell is that? You see that? What was that? Lightning. That uh, didn't look like lightning. Oh, man, that came from the Bergenhauser's pasture. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. I saw it in the camera. Hey, it's probably that big Transformers blown. Let's go check it out. Hey, let's not. Well, come on. We're gonna have to call the power company about it anyway. All right. Tell Mom we'll be a few more minutes. Come on, Brian. Keep up. Come on, Brian. No, you go on, Tommy. Go on, Brian. Tommy. Go on, Tommy. Screw you. Tommy, get. Man, Whoa. you see that? Yeah. Look at it. What is that? What? Over there. Tommy. What? Whoa. What the hell is that? The Air Force base. Yeah, it's huge. Hey, you guys, somebody's inside that thing. Maybe it's the power company. Power company? Mm -hmm. Something like that. It's a UFO. What? Get out of no, here. I'm not sure. Shut up. That looks like a <laughs> UFO, man. No, wait. Come on, you guys. No. I swear to God, that's a quiet, UFO. Quiet. Man. Where is it? No. What was I telling you? Shh. Damn. Quiet, you guys. Oh, my God, there's two. Be quiet, you guys. Don't say a word. They're at the cow. They're at the what? cow. What? What? What are they doing, Brian? Oh, they're cutting open one of the cows. Oh. What are they doing? He's just cutting it. Quiet. What are they? <gasps> what are they doing, Brian? He's just gonna. Oh, He's just gonna. Oh, it's looking right at Oh. They see us. Oh, ah! Come on, oh, Forget it, Tommy. Oh, get the camera. Oh, get the camera. Come on. Right. Come on. Come on. Right. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, God. God. Run. Run. Oh, come on. Come on. Keep up. This right. way. Over right. here. Over here. Right. Tommy. Oh, come on. Right. Come on. We need to get the hell out of here. What's going on? There's f***ing aliens out there. Look, there's a UFO ship and aliens at the big transformer. There's what? We get shot Brian's head. Who shot? Uh, Brian? The aliens, there's a UFO out there. We have to go. A UFO. Captain. Go see for yourself. Well, I would. No, no one is going out there alone. What was that? Wait, that's not... What's let, happening? Let me see. Hey, man, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> let me see. That thing. Oh, what? 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 what is it? Over there, over there. I told you, I told you I saw one. Oh, my God. Damn. Be careful, you could hurt someone. It could be a cover story. There are documented cases where the Soviet Union staged UFO encounters to cover up missile tests that were in violation of international treaties. If you don't want the public to know the absolute truth, then feed them a UFO story. Whoa. What the hell is that? You see that? What was that? I worked in the Central Intelligence Agency for two years. And we kept secrets for two reasons. One is we had something to hide. And number two, uh, if those things that we were hiding were exposed, we would become vulnerable. I don't think that the uh, alien presence, whatever and whomever they are, uh, have any different agenda. We don't think we live in a, 
uh, a demon haunted world, if you will, or a spirit ghost haunted world. We, we really live in an alien haunted world. Our culture is a, you might call it a culture of science fiction. So the images of what aliens look like and what spaceships look like come from the genre of science fiction. So particularly Hollywood films and television shows which portray aliens to look a certain way and spaceships to look a certain way, they get it from these films and television shows. We are all so programmed by television. We, we grew up watching shows like Lost in Space, Star Trek, My Favorite Martian. Of course aliens are real. They've been in our living room since we were kids. Many people do indeed have a concept of an alien as a little guy with a big head and big dark eyes and no hair and skinny body. I believe that this comes from the testimony of the witnesses. The movies follow the reality. They don't make the reality. With the hundreds of cases that we've come across, people that are throughout the United States, for instance, um, are talking about very similar experiences, very similar type alien beings. The most typical are the ones that are between three to five foot tall, hairless, uh, very um, slight in build, um, large black almond shaped eyes, no nose to speak of, a slit for a mouth, uh, no ears to speak of, and these are the ones that do the uh, actual abduction. Tommy's tape picks up again at 7.40 p.m. What? What the hell is that? Where's that coming from? Do you hear that? It's, my ears are ringing. Oh, ah. It's coming from over here. Oh. No. No, it's here. Oh, oh my God, it's all around. around. Oh. 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 That's really loud. Oh, it's really loud. Oh, Kurt. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Are you all right? Yeah. It's a very frightening experience for these people because something was done to them against their will, something very strange, something they cannot explain, um, often very painful and very frightening. They want the events to stop. They're traumatized by the events. They have no idea why they're occurring. <laughs> these people seem to be controlled no. mentally or emotionally to some degree. The tape resumes at 8.15 p.m. We're getting out of here. What do they want? How the hell do I know? We cannot stay here. Huh? The phone's still out. Hey, wait, maybe there's someone on the radio about him, huh? There's no electricity, Tommy. Damn! Mom, I need the keys to your truck. What for? It's bigger than mine. I'll bring it right to the front door. We'll all get in. But what about all the food? Forget the food. We're leaving. I... Here. Where are you going? I'm coming with you. No, you're not. Well, I just don't think you should go out there by yourself. Alien abduction. Is it fact or fiction? You decide after seeing the digitally enhanced video of an alleged alien when we return. Teeth. Alien abduction incident in Lake County. This program contains shocking and often disturbing images. Viewer discretion advised. I don't think you should go with me. You are watching a videotape of an alleged alien abduction. The McPhersons wait terrified inside the house as Kurt goes for the truck. Keep your eyes open. I really think they're gone, Kurt. Just keep your eyes open. Yeah, I am. Oh, man. You know what? I think I peed my pants. You oh. Man, I did. I peed my pants. Hey, it's Tommy. Man, Tommy. I'm losing it here. Hey, I'm, I it's peed fine. my pants, it's fine. man. I'm not going to tell you. What's up anybody. with that? Come on. It's fine. Come on.
What? Battery's dead. When's the last time you drove this in here? Here. I don't know. I mean, maybe a cable's loose or something. Great. The hell was that? The hell? Shine your light over here a minute. Oh, my God. Look at that thing. Give me the gun. Come on, let's go back in the house. What? The tape jumps forward to 8.23 p.m. Kurt. Kurt, they're on the roof. Kurt, what are we going to do, man? We're on the roof. Oh. Yes. Tommy. Tommy, no. Tommy, Tommy no. get back in here. What are you doing? Shh. Be Tommy. quiet. That breakup might be caused by a strong electromagnetic field basically rearranging the digital information on the tape. I would be amazed if there weren't an electromagnetic aspect to the whole abduction phenomena. But of course, it is very convenient that it happens whenever these beings are in proximity to the camera. We can never get a decent look at them. But maybe that's what's causing it. Maybe the interference is intentional. The tape continues a few minutes later. Kurt, I don't think this is a good idea, man. I don't think we should go up there. no further mention of the shooting, as if the entire family <laughs> forgot the event as soon as it happened. But, as you okay. will discover That's later, fine. there was a lot going okay. on. The tape resumes at 9.09. Mel, what happened to you? What is it? It's your nose. Right. You're bleeding. Mel? What? You're bleeding. What? Oh, oh, Holy shit. Totally. Totally. Well, I'm dealing with shit. Oh, oh come oh. here. Come oh, here. Oh, come here. Damn. Oh, my God. Damn. 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 I'm feeling really dizzy. Is everybody okay? Somebody get some ice. Just get some ice. Come it's okay. Oh, my God. Guys, why is this happening? Hey, Renee, here. Take it. It's just a little bit. Oh, Tommy, it doesn't my good dish. Mom, it doesn't matter. It's just a nose, please. Guys, no. It's not stopping. Okay, um, okay, somebody's heading. Shh. This is one of those dizzy spells. It's stopping. Okay, we gotta, right? we gotta get out of here. Okay, it's all right. Here it's anymore. all right. It's all right. Come on. Let me see. Oh, it's fine. The nosebleeds say to me that these people have already been abducted. Their nasal implants are reacting to the presence of the visitors. Simultaneous nosebleeds might be caused by an airborne agent or a sudden shift in atmospheric pressure. I'm not talking about spaceships or aliens. Anything could cause this. Um, sometimes natural, sometimes artificial. This seems to be due, uh, after investigation, to uh, a procedure sometimes referred to as a nasal implant, where a large needle-like device is inserted in the nose of the individual. It's uh, jammed very quickly, and there seems to be, many of them report a crunch as if bone has been broken inside their uh, nasal septum. 
there have been some strange objects that show up on MRI uh, in some x-rays, but uh, these are very still very difficult to prove that it's alien. This, again, we're speculating. Uh, we just know that the, the, these procedures are done, and if these people are implanted, we still don't know why. I have heard several stories from people having nosebleeds in association with an abduction experience. They happen often enough to say that that's an occasional aspect of the abduction phenomenon. Right. Well, people do get bloody noses. This is not unusual. So the tendency is to add components to it, like it was this thing, this probe, this uh, thing stuck inside my nose or my big toe. Uh, it's very rare to find any evidence of that kind of thing. Alien abduction. Is the McPherson tape real? Our investigation will continue with previously unseen video of an alleged alien. Tomorrow, we pick up Tommy McPherson's tape at 919, just before the next dramatic event. What, what the hell is it? <laughs> This is not something that you can fig on a home video camera with backyard special effects. I mean, these days you can do anything with digital effects if you have enough time and money. That's the part people forget. And you can't do it on standard stock 8mm tape like this is. We always had strange lights around our place, like electrical stuff. My mom thought it was ghosts. My brother and I always knew growing up, but nobody would believe us. Then we stopped believing ourselves. Oh, oh God! Is she okay? Oh God! Is she okay? Brian, 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 I can't tell she's breathing. Shh. What the? What the hell was that? It came through the window. Does she have a pulse? Kurt, you gotta go get help. Come on, Kurt, go! Shh. Brian, is she all right? Shh. Uh. Brian, let's go now. Come on. You be careful, okay? Okay, guys. Take care of me. Okay, turn your back. We will. Okay. You take care of the mom and the girls, Tommy. Yeah, I will. All right. Okay. We'll be right back. Okay. Lock the door behind us. All right. All right. Yeah. Though the videotape continued to play for the next hour and ten minutes, nothing but static was recorded. Digital analysis failed to recover any sound or picture on this part of the tape. Were the remaining McPhersons aware, or did they experience a common occurrence in alien abduction, an episode of missing time? Missing time seems to be uh, an experience uh, very common to people who allege uh, human-alien contact. There is a blackout period, and maybe the aliens do this, our own subconscious will do this to protect us from any kind of trauma. So I think this is a control device on the part of the aliens. Actually, I think it's being very benign. They feel we can't handle it. They cause a period of amnesia. For a long time, all I could remember were the lights. Moving toward the lights. It's, it's like, it's a memory, more like a dream. I, time would just slip away and, and I would wake up on the couch and I couldn't even remember lying down. It was really, really weird. Often the recognition that there was a period of missing time comes from the response of others. The picture resumes at 10.45. Why don't we hear the truck? They should have been back by now. Look, they'll be back in a few minutes. Don't worry. I'm worried, okay? I'm gonna worry if I want to. Don't tell me not to worry. Okay. They just, they should have been back by now. Come on, sit down. We have to be ready. You will be ready. It's only been a couple of minutes. What's very uh, curious about missing time is that many times the person doesn't realize that he experienced missing time till 20 years later. Okay. Sit down. You'll be with Daddy soon. Okay. How are you doing, honey? Yes. Okay. What? What do you need? I don't know. Who's that? That's gunshots! That's gunshots! Oh, my God. Shh. Okay. Oh, my God! That's the light! That's the light! 
Circuit box. They're messing with us. Yeah, it's, it's warm in here. It got really warm. There's something wrong with the thermostat. <laughs> There's no electricity, Mom. That's what's wrong with it. You don't need to take that tone with me. I'm hot too. Can I have a glass of water, Mommy? Yeah. Sure, honey. <sighs> fascinated by the little girl's behavior. I would have expected her to have been either more withdrawn or more manic from what must have been an intensely emotional situation. I also find it curious that of the whole family, she is the one that keeps calm. As a matter of fact, at times, she takes on the parents' role, trying to calm the others. Oh, my God. Dad, be careful. You could hurt someone. She's almost... Possessed. Let's all go downstairs now. It's really very disturbing. We're gonna shut off the water when there's no electricity for the pump. Hey, uh, Linda, what's wrong? What is it? What's the matter? Oh, no. I got bit by like a spider or something. Rosaline, look at this. Oh, what is it? What? Look. Oh. What is? What is it? Oh. What is that? It's, uh, it's burning oh, like God. hell! What happened to the McPherson family? Will the digitally recovered video give us a clue? Our investigation continues when we return. In abduction, incident in Lake County. The picture resumes at 11.15 p.m. What is it? What? Look, what is it? What is it? Oh. oh. God, it's... What is that? It's, uh, it's burning oh, like God. hell! No, I, 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 can't, I can't. 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 Mom, mom, just, okay, just calm down, no, okay? I, just don't itch no, it for a minute. I can't. Rosie, is your neck okay? Is it itchy? We're fine. Here, is yours burn too? Yeah, it really burns. Oh, Rosie. Oh, geez. Rosie, how's your neck? I'm fine, Mom. Uh, uh, it's... <laughs> what are you doing, Mel? Burn. Come on, I saw this. Yeah, yeah, give me some of that. It was so burning in a minute, Melanie. I hope so. It really hurts. Oh, God. Ouch. Oh. 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 It was so burning in a minute. Ouch. It's better. Hey, how'd she know it would stop? Oh, man, I thought it was going to burn right through me for a minute. Look, they all have implants. That means that every one of them has been abducted before. They're all tagged, and they're all part of the experiment. They might not know it, 
but this isn't the first time for any of them. The question of implants is a tricky one. Uh, I'm convinced that some Earthlings have had implants uh, put in them. They're transponders, just like airplanes have them at airports. I would be astonished if aliens weren't smart enough, if they're doing a longitudinal study following over time, they would want to locate the test specimens. If aliens got a thousand years on us, maybe a million, they're going to be able to make very sophisticated things that are very small and can give all kinds of information, not just here I am, but maybe temperature, pressure, all kinds of things that are going on. I do not think that they are a tracking device. Well, if in fact implants exist, they could suggest a number of things. The materials appear to be meteoric in origin and have been studied by Los Alamos and, and New Mexico Tech and nearly $50,000 work to date has been spent on just that study alone. I go by the hard evidence I have now, which are actual body marks. And I'm talking about triangular shape marks, geometrical shape marks um, that are actual layers of skin removed. We need to look at that, at that hard evidence that we have now. We don't have a piece of spaceship or UFO, but we're, we have to go according to these hundreds upon hundreds of cases, people that don't know each other, describing these very strange and disturbing um, examinations. I've never seen any evidence of something that allegedly comes from somebody's body actually really being tested by some laboratory that I'd ever heard of or knew of that the scientist who looked at it said, yeah, this does not come from Earth. I, I just, I've never actually seen that. I always hear about it. So I, to me, this is all in this realm of myth. Oh my God. That's impossible. Honey, we don't need the dishwasher right now. Turn it off. But I didn't do it, Grandma. What the hell? Oh, oh God. How are they doing that? I don't know. I'm having one of those hot flashes again. Oh. Get Rosie. Mom, watch her. Oh, God. Lin Linda. No.
Can you put the camera down for a second and help? My name is Thomas McPherson. Uh, we were attacked by aliens. Uh, I think they killed my brothers, uh, Kurt and Brian McPherson. What? I don't want to die. I'm really afraid. Um, I don't think we're going to make it. I miss my dad. I wish you were here. This is how the tape ends at exactly 11.29 p.m. And the McPhersons haven't been seen or heard from since. When we come back, the new digitally reconstructed footage, is it evidence that aliens exist? Incident in Lake County. And now, the newly recovered footage you've been What's waiting that? to see. Guard the light! Where the light! No! Who was that? <laughs> On first viewing this tape, nothing was known about the two minutes and 41 seconds after this event. But when a sharp-eyed assistant editor noticed patterns in the video snow and audio noise, he was intrigued. Recently declassified military technology was used to recover the scrambled video data. This is what it brought to light.
She ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Let's all go down the stairs now. But questions remain. Could the white light be an alien probe? Digital enhancement shows the object's true three-dimensionality. What the hell is it? since abducted by aliens, computer enhancement gives us a better look. What? Linda. If real, was it extraterrestrial or something else? Oh, they're cutting open one of the cows. Oh. What are they doing? He's just cutting it. Quiet. What are they? What are they doing, Brian? Come in. It's looking right at me. Oh, f they see us. Ah! Come on! Ah! 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 Matthew! Oh, that's shit. That's shit. Oh. Is this video real or staged? Either these aliens are unaware of standard ET security procedures or this is a total hoax. These guys seem like they want to be caught on tape. The question is, who's behind it? Because I think we can safely say these are not the clever, elusive aliens we normally hear about from so-called UFO abductees. Something is happening when thousands of us all have the same experiences. Uh, if, if, if it's not real, I just think, you know, see how clever the disinformation machine is. Uh, you know, alien abduction fake for TV specials, so it makes us all look like a bunch of wackos. I am convinced that something truly physical is happening to perhaps millions of people. It's clear that the whole UFO phenomenon exists, and maybe there are aliens out there, but this whole abduction thing, I, I don't know if it's real. The problem with, um, Things like videotapes and photographs now as evidence is that they can be doctored so easily. I've never heard of a story like the McPherson's, but you only get to tell your story if you come back. I think since thousands of people disappear every year, we cannot rule out that having happened. There may be earthlings in alien zoos or enjoying themselves in an alien playground. I don't know. But uh, in general, of course, we get our information from people who come back. My take on what the aliens are doing and why they're abducting people, uh, at this point, I can only speculate. Uh, they're very interested in our reproductive system. They're very interested in genetics. These could be graduate students doing their thesis research on the DNA of Earthlings as a class and looking for all the diseases and all the cures for diseases. It could be hybridization. This is a very, very difficult and taboo subject still. And I think it's very important to bring this out into the open. Sometimes I think a lot of these stories are also made up. We cannot rule out the possibility of a hoax. They don't want to think that some of us are telling the truth. There's this quote about reality. Reality is whatever doesn't go away when you stop believing in it. We were attacked by aliens. Were the McPhersons abducted by aliens? Is this new footage persuasive? Let us know what you think at UPN.com. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ernie Anasta. I'm Brenda Blackman. Next, an amazing scene. Take a look. Mudslides, incredible flooding, lives washed away. We have team coverage of nature's fury in California, Florida, and the devastation the Nor'easter has caused here. Also next, shutting down sex. It's been for sale for years. Lots of places. Now that's all over. Plus, big news about a cure for snoring. And how you can make money from knickknacks collecting dust in your house. Next. <laughs> 